I'm going to be brutally honest, guys. What the fuck are we doing? Seriously, what are we doing? We just got a leak that the new Call of Duty that's coming out in 2023, I believe this year, is going to be named Modern Warfare 3. What are we doing? We just went Modern Warfare 2. I mean, I saw this coming. Let's be honest. I saw this coming. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say that all. Oh, I didn't know. I'm so surprised. I saw it coming. And then now I'm just upset because now it's getting predictable. Like it was predictable probably like three or four Call of Duty's ago. But now we're really getting predictable at, at this point. <clears throat> and I don't know about you. But I'm tired of seeing Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare... No, it was Modern Warfare 2019, but it was Modern Warfare. Then it's Modern Warfare 2, then now it's Modern Warfare 3. W what are we doing? We're trying to relive the glory days, keep all the millennials and all the and, and, and all the Gen Xers coming back? Is that is that what we're doing? I, I, I know this is sounding kind of ranty, okay? I get it. I get it, alright? It sounded ranty, alright? I understand. But what the actual fuck, okay? Seriously, what the actual fuck? Why? Why are we doing Modern Warfare 3? We just did Modern Warfare 2. We just did Modern Warfare 1. I, I just, I don't, I, we stop trying to just, like, re-hashing, re-just, like, like, recycling your audience. That's what, that's what they're doing. They're recycling their audience. That's what I feel like. I feel like a recycled piece of garbage. And I already told you from the last, I believe, two episodes ago from SM2, actually probably three now, I am not buying another Call of Duty, okay? The SM2 project should have just gone, they should have just let it go, okay? And they should have let them do it. Or they could have brought them on board and went halvesies with it. I don't care have these three quarters doesn't really matter okay they should have went and they should have let that happen because they should have that would have been a good thing for for the for the community now sm2 might have said hey we're not going to merge with, with with you which good on them because because fuck activision okay at the end of the day but i i just i don't understand what what the obsession is with Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3 now. Are we going to do... what? What's next? What, what came after that? Was it Black Ops 2? Right? Or was it Black Ops... I think it was Black Ops 3 that came after that. Usually it's, it's in succession usually. So... I think it might have been Black Ops 3. So now we're going to go to Black Ops 3 next, or we're going to go to Modern Warfare 4 or something. That's going to be some crazy new thing that didn't happen. I mean, maybe they're just sticking with the Modern Warfare series because they know how good it is. Um, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be honest. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't miss the Black Ops games that they've been releasing. Uh, most of them really did suck. I mean, Vanguard was a Black Ops prop project, so uh, let's just put that out there. That was pretty shitty. Cold War wasn't bad. Zombies wasn't bad on Cold War. But why Why are we doing this still? What? What's going on? Like, what is the reasoning behind this? Turn out content for players. Live streaming platform since 2019. Modern Warfare re Reboot. Yeah, a Reboot. Re wait, 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 wait. Reboot. Yeah, that's what that was. Fucking stupid. All right. Uh, and looking like the third installment of the reboot trilogy is on its way sooner than anticipated. 2023 is rumored to be the first year without a new major Call of Duty release since 2004, with the majority of Activision Studios supporting the franchise for years on end. This gap year would have been a refresh for some of the teams looking at Call of Duty as well, as far as some of the fans who have been burnt out with the high frequency of annual releases. Yeah, I mean, I'm burnt out. I was burnt out four Call of Duties ago. I'm going to be honest with you. I just, I don't. Oh, God, and they're doing this now. They're doing this. Oh, my God. Why are they doing this? What is, what is the, what is the point? They're, they're just recycling. That's all they're doing. 
That's that's what they're doing. They're recycling this content to try to get old players to play and then try to get new players to play. That's what, that's what they're doing. The the iconic characters that help their franchise grow was Price Soap every every I'm going to be honest and you can say whatever the fuck you want to say. Black Ops 2 may have been the best Call of Duty ever. It fucking wasn't. But Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 were the two Call of Duties that made this franchise soar. I don't give a shit what, what, what you say. That's just facts. Okay? Call of Duty soared because of the Modern Warfare ti titles. And that that is that is just straight up facts. Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. Okay? Black Ops was when we started getting the younger gen generation. The Gen Z era back in or not back but into gaming okay that that's why you kids are all uh, all right Mo modern warfare was the the stepping stone for this entire franchise i don't give a shit what what you say or what you have to say that's the truth that's just straight up the truth okay if they didn't make these games with these characters this franchise would have never have ta taken off black ops the black ops series and the zombies helped it Definitely. War, war that war, nothing beats World that War. Black Ops, I, I hate Black Ops. I, I hate the Black Ops series. They're terrible, okay? Black, Black Ops 3, though, was kind of fun. Just saying. But I did like the Diamond Camo for Black Ops 2. I also hated a lot... Of, I hated the gameplay of Black Ops. That's what it was. That's really what it was. The feeling of going from the Modern Warfare engine to, 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 to the Black Ops engine was just a step was like a 10 step down that's what it was and that's that's what i felt like and that's what i will always feel like whenever playing on that engine to to to, to be honest because it was it like it wasn't it wasn't that it was like really under it, no you know what it was it was really underwhelming it was very underwhelming to to to, to play on that engine it really was and and the sad part is, is that, um, when it came out, I really did think that the camos were a step up, even for Black Ops One. The camo, um, like the textures were phenomenal on Black Ops Two guns, but it's like compared to like even Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare Two, like it was phenomenal. But I also I'm gonna be honest, I did not like the I, I want to say vomit camo because that's what it was. Uh, fall was it fall camo? Is that what it's called from Modern Warfare Two? It's been such a long time since I played that game. The yeah, the camo that, that you got for getting all the headshots and all the challenges, like that, the yellowish camo. That was not the yellowish camo 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 camo. Yeah, what whatever. That that was terrible. Like that wasn't very good. The red tiger camo and the gold were like the fucking best. Nothing beats those. Um. And they did have better. Actually, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think. Bl Bl Black Ops 2 um, gold camo was not bad I, I, either. Model for three gold camo was definitely better, but it just didn't. It didn't feel um, as good as like Model Mon 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 for two. Uh, the camos in Model for two. Model for 2019 though, definitely blue tiger and red tiger camos were a, definitely a step up. I loved the camos from from those two games. Um, why is my hair like that? Oh my goodness! There you go, much better. Now I look like a nerd. Ah, la, la, la. All right. Um. Anyway, so my Modern Warfare three. I just can't believe that they're doing this again. I'm going to be honest. I, I saw it coming, as I said, but I just can't believe that they're actually going to do this again. And you, and I, and it's, and I'm, I'm a hundred percent telling you that was the reason why they're, that's the reason why they're doing this is because Captain Price, Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3 were, were the reason why this franchise took, took, took off. It was. Zombies was another reason, but that's its own separate, like, entire, um, ecosystem. There's, there's there's zombie fans that will that are diehard that will never stop playing zombies no matter what it is and I I love zombies this is my that's probably the only thing I would actually go back and play if I had the chance well I still do have the chance but I just don't want to at least right now but 
Um, I, I've been playing Gears a lot, so it is what it is. But I, I actually kind of like zombies. I mean, Gears, Horde, and zombies are very same. Are very same. Are the same, pretty much. Except for Gears, Horde, you get to do like the little um, traps and whatever else. It's kind of cool. You can build your own little fort. Keeps my creativity up. So, I, I don't know, man. I, I just, I, hold on. Let me, let me, let me uh, see here. Is it Tom Henderson? No, it's probably not him. I think it was somebody else who leaked this. Let me go back real quick. Huh. Oh, it's Game Rant that did that. Okay. Well, you know, see, you see, the other thing is, too, that they, like, promised not to have a Call of Duty this year or whatever. And... Y y it's funny because, like, they said that, and then now they're doing this, but, like, they already do have a two-year life cycle of Call of Duty. And I, I've said this I've said this in another vi video, where they actually do actually legitimately have a two-year cycle of Call, Call of Duty. So, like, you know, the time between Modern Warfare 3 and, like, Black Ops 3 was, like, two years. Or was, was a year... But the time between Modern Warfare two and three was two years. So when they said four, when they said two year cycle, that technically would have me would have meant a four year cycle. So they would have, let's say, as an example, they they would have released Modern Warfare two, and then Modern Warfare three four years later, and then had like. I don't know. Just let's say, like, let's say they're rebooting Black Ops Three. They they would have had a reboot of Black Ops Three in in between the release of Modern Warfare Two and Modern Warfare Three, right? Because it was usually Treyarch. Well, who was the first? I actually don't remember who who the first game developer was, but it was um it would be like Sledgehammer, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Treyarch. So that's kind of the cycle that actually it really does go go through. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I I don't I don't think that. The content's just a lot, and I, and I the games are, are a lot. And you're, they're like really draining their audience dry of like cash, just to you know kind of like make line their own pockets. I feel like at this point, um, I mean I don't know, maybe maybe we're just that addicted. But at the end of the day, man, I'm I'm not buying another Call of Duty. Like I I get I haven't bought a Call of Duty since Cold War. I'm not buying another one. Now, I, as I said, from the SM2 video, I'm not even going to play Warzone. Like, they're not going to waste my time. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not even going to give them my time. Because I'm done. Like, that. that is just... It is just so selfish what they did. And the, and if anyone defends them, whatever. But I'm going to be honest with, with, with you. That that was some petty-ass fucking shit. For two years, they they were making that, that SM2 game. And then all of a sudden... Activision is like, oh yeah, by the way, you can't do it anymore. So, and then and then they're pulling this shit. <laughs> Final Warfare Three, what a joke. I mean, I kind of feel bad for for like every Call of Duty player at this point that like actually wants to follow the game, that wants to keep following the game. I mean, may, maybe it's more Gen, you know, Gen Zers. Maybe I mean, because Gen X and Millennials, I I hope you guys are done. If you guys are watching my content, I I hope you guys are done at the, at this point. You know, I I'm I I hate to put it down. I really do. I enjoyed the multiplayer on Call of Duty for such a long time, the campaigns. But it's like I can't do this anymore. Like I'm not going to keep feeding the beast. Like they are they are legitimately a beast at at, at this point, and they are they they're not going to get any better. Like they they're going to actually get worse. I'm going to be honest. So that's the thing you have to understand. They're they're going to get worse. And it's not going to get any better for anyone. It's just going to be the same shit over and over again. And I, I, I don't even know how how far they're going to take this remaster tri these, this remaster shit. Because they already remastered Mo Modern Warfare 2. It's not even a remaster. It's like a complete re remake with like the same characters. And that's and that's what I'm... That, again, that brings me back to my whole point in the beginning is like... That's all they're doing. They're they're just feeding off of what made the game good. So if they may, maybe they'll remake Black Ops One and Black Ops Two and Black Ops Three, but it's like where are you gonna go after that? Like the the sad part is too is like a lot of a lot of players now just don't want 
to have like a like a like a futuristic or a World War Two game. Like er, er, every time, er, like even ba- even Battlefield struggles with this. Like the community just just ransacks, just gets so mad because we because we go back to World War Two or we go or we go forward in time and go to like the future shit. I didn't play Infinite Warfare. I I'm gonna be honest. I I wanted to play the campaign, but I just never picked it up. Um. Was that actually before Cold War? That that was before Cold War. I I never bought Infinite Warfare. That was I think I was uh I forgot what the hell I was doing then. I probably just didn't care. I just didn't want to buy it. I was probably fed up with Call of Duty then too. Then I th- then I saw Modern Modern Warfare Modern Warfare 2019 come out. And then I was like, "Oh, that's that's not bad. I should probably try it out that one." And then I saw the Modern Warfare 2 coming out and I was like, mm, "I'm good." <laughs> You know, I, it was probably the pand. It was probably before the pandemic was when Infinite Warfare released. Let's see, when did uh, uh, Infinite Warfare COD release? I think it was like right before the pandemic, wasn't it? Oh, no, it was 2016. I don't know what the, what the hell was I doing in 2016. I just I never bought this one. I I I think I was just fed up with with, with Call of Duty. I've I, I I go through phases of where I'm just I'm, I I get fed up with Call of Duty and then like I'll play it again, but. And then I'll go, and then I'll get fed up, and I'll play it, and then I'll get fed up again, and I'll play it. But like now, I think I'm actually done. Like I, <laughs> I don't want else to do at this point. I'm just, I'm just bored of it. I'm bored of the constant, like copy and paste. Like it's been a copy and paste at, since like after Black Ops Three, like after that era, it's just been a copy and paste this whole this whole time. Advanced Warfare was fun, and I, and I think that they're probably gonna re- they're probably gonna re-release that too. But again, a lot of people don't like in Advanced Warfare. I didn't like the jetpacks. I mean, again, I it's like if I wanted to play Halo, I, I would have played Halo. But I just I don't, you know, it is what it is. I enjoyed like the um, survival stuff on Advanced Warfare and, and even the zombies. That that was that was fun. But playing like you know the multiplayer was stressful. Imagine. Imagine though, w- like Warzone with like the Advanced Warfare like jetpacks and shit. That would be kind of fun. That'd be that'd be actually pretty sick, but it would but it would just turn into like a jumping war. That'd be it. Like it'd be you know like who is the best movement? You like jetpack? Like that's kind of what it is, and like it, that's what ruins the multiplayer. Is just other people. As much as I hate to say, it, getting very good at movement or getting good at, at the mechanics, <coughs> that's what ru- ruins it. I can say that from a point of perspective because I used to be that guy. Like I used to ruin. The fucking game for Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 players. Like, I was the kid that ruined, like, your dad's life. Like, your dad's, you know, time on Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare. I was the guy that, that, that ruined it, you know. Or your time, if you were, like, playing that as, like, a, like a young adult. I, I was the guy. Like, me and my friends were the team that would, like, fucking spawn trap. We were the assholes, okay. So, that's why I say that from a perspective of I understand. And now I'm the guy getting bullied. I'm the guy that's getting shit on. Okay, so I get it. But that's the that's the beauty of it, though. Is like oh, we're just we're coming full circle at this point, and it's like they're gonna re they're probably gonna remake this game. They're probably gonna remake uh, not only Infinite uh, not Infinite Warfare, Advanced Warfare. They're gonna remake that game. I can bet you that. Like, like my point is, I guess are they just trying to keep us on, on, on our toes? Like, oh yeah, like they're they're gonna realize, oh they're just gonna think that it's gonna be like just like a remake of all these games, but then we're just gonna throw them a curveball. Like, what's like where are they going next? Are they just gonna remake Advanced Warfare with like a different storyline with like without Kevin Spacey because of all the trouble he, he got into? Like, what are they gonna do? That's my question. Like, where are we gonna go from here, really? I'm trying to think of like a possible route, but it's like they're probably just going to remake a bunch of games, and then all of a sudden they're just going to like, they're going to like be, they're they're going to make like like a like a robot of duty or something. I don't know, fucking, I don't know, man. <laughs> I just, I, I, I personally, I, I just, I don't know. I'm done. So I'm, I'm, I'm not buying a, another Call Call of Duty game. I may play Warzone, maybe, but I doubt it. I, especially maybe maybe to try out the new Warzone. But like I'm like the Modern Warfare three, if it's free, if it's not free, I'm probably just gonna 
I'm not gonna play it. To to be honest, like I'm not buying the game just so I can play it. Like my friend tried tried to get me to buy Modern Warfare Two, and I'm like, bro, I'm not, I'm not buying that game. Sorry. That that money could be going into investing or something else. I'm I'm not, I'm not I'm not doing it. So I'm sorry to disappoint you, but yeah, the new leak Modern Warfare Three is the new Call of Duty, and it's remastered or remade. Um. I mean, you know, drop a like on the video if you really enjoyed this because I'm, I got plenty of more stuff to rant about and I don't really mean to sound like, make it sound like it's ranty, but it, it kind of ends up coming out like that. But what, like, what the fuck are we doing, man? Just, just, just end it. Just be done with it. No more. No, no more Call of Duty. No more Warzone. Find a different game. Go, go play, go, go, go play God, God of War or something. Go buy yourself a PlayStation 5. <coughs> It's not worth it. T take care.